It's time for another getter tutorial, guys. Let's go. What is going on, Rocket Powered Sound Designers? Welcome to the best channel on YouTube for serum tutorials. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to remake the growl and getter's brand new track, Solo. And this is what it sounds like. Really cool growl here. Um, it's definitely unique and it's not one of those growls that you typically hear in a stereotypical dubstep song, which is why Getter is pushing the boundaries and he's really killing it right now. This is a dope song, mixing in with some chords and not chords, um, plucks, and it sounds fantastic. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. If you guys are new here and you're not already subscribed, click that little subscribe button down there because boom, the moment you do that, you get access to a daily serum tutorial every single day. So, if you want a daily serum tutorial, I mean, go ahead and press that. If not, it's whatever. Um, by the way, guys, this sound does use an OTT. And you know what? I've been using this on so many sounds lately. Um, if you don't have it at this point, you might as well go grab your free copy on X for Records website. Or if you're using Ableton, they have a built-in OTT plugin that is 100% free. But this is what it looks like for X for Records. I didn't even touch any of the settings. I just turned it on and boom. We got some multiband compression here, really starting to uh, make the frequency stand out a little bit, a little better. But that's not needed for that sound for the for this particular bass here. Um, it's completely up to you if you use it or not. Anyways, let's start off with oscillator A. We're gonna be leaving it on our default waveform here, which is at a 180 degree phase, and it's inverted. You know, it's not our typical sawtooth waveform. It's just at a 180 degree phase, and like I said. It's, it's just flipped around, it's inverted. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and turn this up five voices. Oops. And you know what? Let me place my keyboard under my desk on my lap because you know, you know what? It could be a little bit loud to you guys. I don't wanna annoy you. We wanna learn some sound design. We don't wanna be hearing my keystrokes. Anyways, let's turn on the detune a little bit. Now, turning down the random phase, AKA the rhythm knob. Nah, I'm kidding. Um, but we instantly get that booming sound, which we actually hear in the original getter track. And, um, you know, maybe even turn on the detune a little bit less than that. Yeah, around point, point 0.12 is better. So there really isn't much detuning going on. We just have more than one copy of the waveform playing at once, which is actually creating a nice thicker sound. So next, we are going to be using our phaser filter in the flanges folder. And what's unique about the phasers is, you know, they're fantastic um, for really creating some growly effects. Like um, it, it sounds weird, but it almost sounds like you're processing it through flushing a toilet it's that's what it sounds like to me at least <laughs> wait okay i don't know why but it just reminds me of that don't ask all right <laughs> maybe maybe you guys could too understand someday but for now just just ignore my my weirdness all right anyways let's go ahead and modulate the cutoff Okay, I know it sounds like complete grossness, but stick with me. We're going to put this on one half because each of the growls lasts for about one half. So we have this descending. Um, okay, not too shabby, not too shabby. Uh, let's see, we do need to change some things up a little bit here. Um, okay. You know what? This is fine. This is good. Let's go ahead and go into our effects section. Actually, you know what? That's a little bit too much resonance. But you guys can start to see the direction that the sound is taking. We're gonna create a new LFO, but we're not gonna be doing anything just yet with it. We're gonna be turning on our distortion. So go ahead and just select our distortion, move it to the top here, and let's jump the drive all the way to 100. Now you're gonna realize this sounds like ass okay now we don't want it to sound like garbage so what are we gonna do here we're gonna filter out the frequencies and make it talk we're gonna make it yeah we're gonna be making our distortion talk so go ahead and turn on the pre knob that's gonna be 
um, allowing us to go ahead and filter the frequencies that are being distorted. And we're, we're gonna move this all the way to a high pass filter. All right, so start us off really low here. And um, if you can see right here, this is our resonance control. And we're going to modulate the frequency. Not that intense, but we're gonna be modulating it up. I'll put this on trigger and one half again. And we can just kind of create a shape similar to this. This is what I had in the original sound. Now it's a little bit too crispy and it's not soft like the original sound is. So let's turn on the mix a little bit. We could get in a little bit softer. And that sounds better. Yeah, so filtering out the distortion is definitely one of those features that is super, super handy, especially when you want to crisp up your sound a little bit, but all the distortion options given, or whether you're using the X Shaper and actually making your own distort distortion, uh, it doesn't typically work out good. So what you can end up doing is filtering it and making some really cool results here. So next, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the chorus. Now, I went in through the chorus technique actually last week. So um, I be believe it, it was about a week before Getter actually released this song. And I showed you guys, I'm like, okay, this is what this is a technique that Getter uses. And sure enough, he releases this growl, which I am fairly positive that he uses a chorus on in the typical um, way that I'm gonna be showing you guys today. <laughs> you know, I just kind of go to show you, like I told you, I told you, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> but without the chorus, this sound doesn't sound nearly the way it should as opposed to in the original. So if we take off the chorus in the end, I'll show you, like we need this. I'm very, very certain that Getter used this. So anyways, let's go ahead and turn up the low pass filter to 20,000 hertz, okay? Or we can turn on a high pass filter and drop it down to 50 hertz, but we're gonna, it's whatever, completely up to you. Uh, mix is gonna go up to 100% just for now, just that way we can get an idea of what we're working here uh, with, working with here. <laughs> so, we can't really hear any, any difference when we're moving around the delay knobs. So what we're gonna be doing here is turning down the depth, turning up the feedback. All right, let's mod let's try modulating this, all right? We're going to start off at a low delay and modulating it up. Let's turn off the chorus. Let's turn it on. See how much softer it sounds? It sounds a lot more similar to the OG sound. And guys, in the tutorial that I showed you on the getter sound, I turned up the feedback. I was modulating it like this. And that really just created some inharmonic sounds or depending on where we had the delay at, it could create some really cool chord sounds. Uh, but that's not what we're gonna be doing today. So turn on the mix to around 70%. And now we're gonna be turning on our compressor. Turn on our compressor, then we're gonna immediately press the multi-band and turn up the gain. Okay. Okay, now we're talking. Um, we need a filter, all right? We're in the right direction here, but if we listen to the original growl, it sounds like it is very heavily compressed with the filter with a filter um, that sounds, all right, I'm gonna say it again, like it's getting flushed down the toilet, okay? <laughs> um, so what we're gonna be doing to do that is we're gonna go back into our phaser filters, and we're actually gonna be selecting our phaser 48 positive. And let's modulate you up. All right, we're gonna jump up the resonance a little bit here. Okay, okay. Now we are getting somewhere. All right, so 
This is going to wrap it up for the serum portion. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn on our X for Records OTT or our general OTT plugin. Uh, let's see here. Turn it off, turn it on. So not a huge difference, but the sound doesn't sound as close as it should to the original. So we're still pretty close, but not quite there. What we need to do is we're simply gonna EQ it and we're gonna be modulating even more here. So starting off, we're gonna drop the gain. Well, you know what? We need to change it to a peak uh, shape. Drop the gain down to negative 24 decibels. So we're cutting out a lot of frequencies here. And here we're gonna be modulating the frequency. Just like that. So. So if I were to turn this off, turn it on. Very slight difference, but it does kind of make a big result here, or a big change. Um, also, we can add in a little bit of hyper just to kind of fix it up a little bit. Not fix it up, but make it, give it a little bit of stereo width. Same thing with the dimension, low size, high mix. One thing that we're missing though, Uh, <laughs> one thing that we're missing is a little bit of pitch change. We're going to just stick on LFO 3 now onto the course pit. Let's go trigger envelope. Uh, make a few changes. Make it go from a lower or a lower pitch to a higher tune. Okay, and that is how you recreate the Getter solo growl. And it sounds really dope. So like I said, guys, if you guys like this video, just go ahead, I actually didn't say this. So if you like the video, just go ahead and drop a like on the video. If not, drop a dislike. Just give me an idea of how many of you guys actually like this growl, because I think it's pretty intense. Anyways, guys, without further ado, my name is Shane from Rocket Powered Sound, and I will catch you guys in the next Serum Tutorial. Thank you